Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Natisha and we're going to get into an old fashioned beauty haul. <laughs> um, I've been MIA for a couple of weeks. Um, you know, life always tends to, you know, jump in every once in a while, but um, my sister-in-law gained her angel wings, so I kind of just took a break from YouTube, but obviously I didn't take a break from shopping, so I have some items I want to share with you. So this is an old school haul, you know, taking a bag, nostalgia purposes. Um, this is a collective haul from the months of October and November, and most of this stuff I got on sale with a coupon or some deal with Ulta. Nonetheless, the video might be long, so I'm going to chop it up and let's get in. Um, we got some stuff from Sephora, some from Ulta, mostly from Ulta, um, Walmart, and Tarte.com. So I'm actually going to go with Tarte.com first. Tarte has their little promotional sale that they do twice a year, I think, where you get a couple full size items plus some cosmetic bag for like $63. So I think that's the price. Don't hold me to it. I think it was like $63 something. So this is the bag that I chose. It gave it provided four options of bags that you can um select from. And then <clears throat> some I put all my items in here, so I'm gonna just show you what I got. I got their what is this? found sealer foundation brush I have been wanting this for a very long time so finally got it and it's really that's just a um kind of a kabuki style foundation brush then I got their Maracuja juicy lip and this is in the shade birthday spritz which is one of the shades from their holiday collection this year so this is what she looks like and um she's a uh, you push the shade up and then it's right there and it's just like a very your lips but natural with shine and it's very moisturizing and I do actually <clears throat> I tried this and I do like this and it's making me kind of want the holiday set that they have out right now with the three shades because I think the shade is only in that set but I, I really like this like, that's something you could just smother your lips throughout the day um uh, I got the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. Had this mascara before, and I really, really like it. Um, it gave, it provided all their options of mascaras. I don't really care too much for the Man Eater one, and the pink one is okay. But I went the safe route. If I didn't go the safe route, I was going to choose that natural one that they have. But safe route for me. Then I got the found um found sealer uh what a foundation can I get it out my mouth I've been wanting to try this too and I got the shade in TND Punny which is my shade in all their foundations it's more of a peach undertone so and I sh I swatched this on my face and so far so good <clears throat> but I have not tried that foundation yet i just did a little switch of swatch of room and then um i got the tarte hydro sealer concealer it was intriguing so i got it it was between this or their other concealer but i just went with this and i got tan honey so we'll see how that goes then I got this eyeshadow, um, sea glass eyeshadow, and this is from the Rainforest of the Sea collection, and this color is in Suit Life. And <clears throat> let's take her out. I think I swatched her, but she's like super metallic -y and pretty. Normal wand. And it's like just a um, a glittery champagne color. So that 
is what I purchased from Tarte.com and I have not bought something from Tarte in a very long time, at least online. And then I got a sample of the Maracuja oil, which I do like and I'll use this when I travel home for Thanksgiving. All right, <clears throat> so I'm kind of talking a little fast because I know this is a lot. Next section is Walmart. I got the CoverGirl um, Clean Fresh Powder and the Clean Fresh Concealer. I don't know, I was just, I was drawn to it um, so far. And I got the shade of the powder in tan. And that's what it looks like. And I, I like it, so. And I love that it has clean ingredients because um, some of their other products in their line, CoverGirl specifically, they got parabens in it. And I'm not a big fan of having parabens in my products, knowingly. If I don't know, you know. And then this one, <clears throat> concealer is okay. It's not something I'm like, you know, 100%. I'm going to reach for it every time, but it's, it's decent. So now let's go into, I got some items from... Home Goods or TJ Maxx Home Goods. Um, just two. Um, I got the Milk Bronzer, Cream Bronzer, Matte Cream Bronzer, and this is in the shade Blaze. And um, the normal price of this is seventeen dollars. I got it for ten dollars. Mine is a little messy because I accidentally messed it up when I was putting the top back on, but. I like this. It's super creamy, super pigmented, and I got it on now along with some powder bronzer. But yes, honey, I try to go back like the following week to see if they had any more of this or the blushes because stupid me, I should I should have got a blush too. Blush, sorry, they had the milk blushes too, and I didn't get it. I was like, uh -uh. try to go back, Chad, it was gone. Then I got um, I've been wanting this is an old. Um, foundation meaning that it's been out for a while and this is the Becca Ultimate Co Coverage 24 Hour Foundation and I got this and stupid silly me I didn't see that the shade says 4C2 which the C means cool I just saw that it was Sevia and I saw that it was the deeper shades and it's deeper on you than it is in the two but <laughs> It's a cool tone foundation, and yeah, it's cool tone. I'm warm tone, but I can definitely mix this in with very warm tone foundations like I did today. Um, I mixed it with my Uma foundation that I have because that one was very, very warm. So this is cool, and the, the shade is not too far off for me, but I mean, I tried to take this back, and my TJ Maxx was not having it. Even though when I bought it, I asked the cashier, I said, can I take this back if this doesn't fit me? She said, yeah, sure. And then I go back to return that because I was actually going to get, um, there was a Bare Minerals foundation that was fitting in my complexion. And I was going to swap it and they was like, no, you can't return it because you opened it. So there it is. So then I made a purchase whoop, with Mincy Cosmetics because they were doing a promo. They were promo, like, just came out with a new eyeshadow and if you buy that eyeshadow um their vips um got a free tasha silk canvas filter finishing protective primer so i've never tried this before and i was very intrigued everybody lots of people talk about this primer so i was like oh that's a good way to actually like try it so this is what the basically gift with purchase is and um, <clears throat> when I tried it, oh, mine's a little dirty. I only tried it once, and I like it. And actually, after watching the live video that Mensa did with Tasha, I think one of the, it might have been the founder, correct me if I'm wrong, or co-founder. <clears throat> I'm more intrigued with, I think it's co-founder. I'm more intrigued with the products in the line, and... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat's a little dry. I'm more intrigued with the products in the line, and I want to try more just from watching that live. But this is the new palette from Mincet, and it is called the Every Night 
uh, eyeshadow palette and it's made in USA and it's a 24 stamp mark on it and their other palette is their everyday palette so this is the every night palette so this is what I have not tried this yet honestly I was waiting to do this video first and then I'm gonna try it so I will let you know how I feel but I'm pretty sure I will be satisfied and then I got a lipstick with that specific purchase and it's just the brand nude shade which is just a nude shade <laughs> more brown tone brown tone nude shade and um please don't mind my ashiness of my hand I'm dry skin but any hips just a brown it's really just kind of like I don't know more of a neutral brown lip shade all right so do we want to do Ulta or do we want to do Sephora let's do Sephora so these are not these are multiple purchases okay so I got the Too Faced cinnamon bear palette I think it's a very cute palette a very cute holiday-esque um, combination um, I have not played in the eyeshadows yet because I've kind of been saving this stuff for this video. I've been holding, I mean, you know, life has happened and all my stuff is behind. And what I wanted to like get this palette and do a video, so I just blah, blah, blah. But anyway, nonetheless, this is the palette. I have, I have the lipstick on now. And it smelled like cinnamon when I was applying it. But it doesn't smell, smell like cinnamon now. Some of the other... Um, scented liquid lipsticks from Too Faced that I had you can still smell it after it's been on your lips for a little bit but this is the palette comes with a cute makeup bag I think this is so cute it's like plasticky but it's grab a little bears on it it's got the heart um pendant on the zipper this is your lipstick shade which, correct me if I'm wrong, this is a not a new lipstick um, scent or shade, but. And then you got the little bear, and it's raised bear. <laughs> it's so cute. And this kind of smells like cinnamon, but it's not really like boom bam in your face. So, got that. That's really cute. So now I can put this box up and play with that product <laughs> before the holidays be over with. Then I got the Tarte holiday set. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> and it comes with four, um, of course, four, or four. Can I count? Can I see? Three separate eyeshadows in Tarte this honestly compared to some of the Tarte stuff that they did in the past for the holidays I can kind of get with this because you get three and this is about this is only $49 with a value of 270 and you get 18 new shades nine are shades from favorites like shades from already in the collection of these two ballots that's the one and that's the one but I don't have none of these palettes. This one is new. I never had this one. And I did have the original Charlotte and Bloom, but I sold it because I wasn't interested in it anymore. So I'm just going to quickly show you what these palettes look like inside. This is a little juicy. This one is all new shades, which I think they're going to make um, a normal size palette. In regards to this so that's really pretty and then we have the little toasted which a little toasted it looks like that these are good travel size palettes if you want to take one 
two. And then this is Little Blue. So she's going to give you more of your neutral cool tone colors. And yes, those colors do show up on a, on a girl. Alright. Moving along, moving along, moving along. I did get the Hourglass um, face palettes. Um, I really wanted to give my opinion about these a long time ago. But here we are. This is the six pan. I'm going to just do a quick rundown. The face palette powders, they work for me. Um, the highlight is, it's very natural. It's not boom, bam in your face. I don't know if you can see it on mine. Um, the bronzer. Initially, I was like, oh, huh, it's not doing anything, but child. She warms up and she shows up like she is on my face. I don't even know if I'm looking splotchy. Yeah. She's there. She's on the face. This blush is very... It's very glitter, like, it's one of their, what do they call it, strobe, strobe highlighters, or strobe blushes, is that what it is? Yeah, it's one of their strobe blushes, so it's very intense, um, glittery-wise, so, eh, it's not 100% my favorite, the color is good, the color is, you know, a color that looks good on my skin tone, but it's not my favorite favorite, but I can make it work, um, and then the Mood Exposure Blush, I've had this before. I've had the, the bigger size pan, the normal size, however you want to say it. But I sold that one too. So I know how this shade looks on me. I know that this needs to be built up. I know that it's a mauve kind of color. So again, eh, the two blushes are not my favorite. But I, I can work with both of them. But I do like the highlighter, like the, the powders. And I don't... I don't have any, none of the powders. Yes, I don't have none of the powders, and the bronzer is the bronzer that shows up on my skin. However, if you're just a little bit deeper than myself, I'm not sure. But I know that top layer needs to be dug into in order for you to pick up the actual color. And then let's talk about this quad. <laughs> so with this quad, I'm going to say, mm, the colors look deeper on pictures that they've shown and this is what she looks she don't look that deep like I felt like some of the pictures made that blush look pretty deep so the blush is pretty you do have to build it up I like that it's matte that it doesn't have any shimmer in it or any of the um powder in it I do like this finishing powder it's it's a good color um this bronzer that they consider a bronzer this is not going to show up as a bronzer on my skin tone or deeper it's more like a, a bronzer high a topper you know what I'm saying like more like a in between a highlighter and a bronzer but not really a bronzer it's more of a topper to me so it's gonna give you like it like in the summer when you like that bronze glow kind of situation that's what she gonna give you and then the highlighter is pretty intense. So, <clears throat> at first I was like, yeah, I'm taking this back. I mean, I feel like I need to love it, love it. But after I played around with it, child, she's staying in the collection. All right, moving along. Still in Sephora land. Let me get Sephora together. Um, the sale that Sephora had. I did not purchase anything from this sale, and I guess the four was like, hey, 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 wait a minute, you didn't purchase nothing from us, and we noticed something in your cart, so we're going to give you that, you know, that discount again, we're going to give you that option, so, thanks to four. Um, so I got a few things from that sale, I got Fenty, this is a Fenty brush, and it's called the Face Shaping Brush. And I got this specifically because her makeup artist was using this with cream eyeshadows. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to get that so I can use it with, not eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows, cream blushes. And it is what she looks like. Plus, I love pink. I'm a sucker for pink. 
pink, gold, rose gold. <sighs> she, she's a sucker. So I got that. And then I got uh, a traveling size, another one. <laughs> I keep getting the travel size, but I think um, the little discount that Sephora gives you at the end of the year, I'm going to actually buy the Big Daddy. But this is the clean um, scent from Sephora. It's their clean line, clean ingredients. And this is in Radiant Nectar. I re-upped on this. I love the smell of this and traveling you know fits around perfect it's just bop this is 10 milliliters i am going to get the big daddy i love the way this cell smells which is radiant nectar and i love the way skin smells and napoli napoli those three scents whoo child are my favorite but that big daddy is pretty expensive so yeah then I got um, Makeup Brush Cleaner by Cinnamon Secrets. I got the A full ounce. So I just um, used my Mary Kay brush cleaner uh, bottle and filled it up so I can spray it out. So got that. This is my first time using this. Everybody's always talking about this. So I was like, I want to give it a try. Then... Last couple things with Sephora, and we're done with Sephora, and I'm going to jump on into some other things. I got this Milk Makeup Cool Water Cooling Under Eye Deep Puffer Instantly Energizes and Soothes for Refreshed Skin. So this is the mini size, and boy, she is mini. <laughs> Fits in my hand. And I got this because Jasmine Nakwe, and I apologize if I'm seeing her last name wrong, she uses this on her channel and when she uses it and it just i'm sitting there like oh my god i want to get it because she just loves this when she uses this before she applies makeup and this is what this looks like and i'm excited thank you jasmine <laughs> and actually after using this probably i think i used it like three times i'm probably when this is up going to get the big daddy Yes, I'm going to get it. And then I also got <laughs> a mini lip and cheek. Um, this is in uh, the shade Work. And it is this color. I feel like, you know, I wanted to try, give um, a cream blush a try, but I don't need a really, really big one because I don't want it to go bad, so little I go and then I just got two samples I'm pretty sure I got more samples somewhere around here chap but one is in um Saturday skin rub-a-dub refining pill gel and then the other one is Af Arian Mediterranean honeysuckle perfume I like to get the perfumes a because I like to try they're good to travel with so Okay, now we're gonna, uh, no, we're about to jump into Alta, but let's do a little patty pat. Um, I did a, a video on her quads that she just came out with, but I have, I did get the Big Daddy. Um, and I don't remember if I talked about this in my last haul, but that is what the Big Daddy is looking like. Her Divinity, Divinity palette. That was good hands, baby, good hands. And I've shown the quads before, but let's show them again. This is the Risque Rose. Mm -hmm. And this one is the Flora Fantasia. And last but not least is the Interstellar Quad, which is my favorite out of all three. And the one, if I had to choose, I would go with her. Okay, now we're done with Sephora. Let's get into Ulta and then we're done, guys. Thanks for joining me for my haul. All right, so I'm a sucker for pink. I've mentioned that before. Mm. 
girl child pink gets me so i got the real techniques holiday blush sets or blush brush brush sets <laughs> so this one is the all eyes are on you limited edition sets only an ulta so it's going to give you some eye brushes it gives you a flat liner a blending crease brush a full coverage eye brush and an angled brow brush and spoolie and these were on sale and then this one is called um real techniques limited edition in the spotlight for foundation bronzer highlights and shadow and again these were on sale but they're normally priced this one is $19.99 and this one is $9.99 so even at the regular price I still think it's pretty much a good deal and um so I'm telling you everything I got on here has been on sale uh also had some foundations on sale one time so I picked up the Lancome uh, Tint Idol Ultra Wear. Got my shade in 460, I think. Yeah, 460 Sway W. So, she was on sale for a good price, so Mama picked her up. Yes, yeah, honey. And then, um, they had this their Ulta products were like buy one get one half off and then you can get this really good um gift with purchase so I show all the gift with purchases after I show everything that I got but I end up getting the Black Widow 12 eyepiece eyeshadow palette that they did a collaboration with Ulta I love Black Widow and I'm really sad that they haven't put out the movie yet because it was supposed to come out in May but because of the pandemic Ugh, they know that they're going to get sales from that movie and yeah this pandemic messed everything up because I haven't been able to see the movie but anyways this is my first time actually trying um eyeshadows from Ulta so we'll see how this goes but it's really the Black Widow nostalgic purposes and then the item that I got like half off was the brush and it's just a blending brush but it's with the Black Widow collection so yeah <laughs> then um i got this rollerball perfume set i've never heard of this brand and it's called define me petite blendable and lovable and they have these rollerballs they have bigger rollerballs um perfume mist and uh bigger perfume mist and then a mist for the hair but <clears throat> Let me just kind of skim um, the product. First of all, it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, six roll balls that you can try and smell because I wanted to smell them. Most of them, besides maybe one or two, maybe one, smell divine. Like it smells so good, like to the point where I'm probably going to buy the full product. <laughs> and it tells you the notes from each uh scent they're all female names um every bottle of defined fragrance represents mold breaking barrier crushing women that speak for qualities who strive for being confident strong creative free-spirited loving passionate grateful and fearless and then it also says for every full-size bottle of this fragrance purchased a dollar goes to scholarships for girls in low-income countries I love that. <clears throat> um, ingredients are love, fragrance, and fractionated coconut oil. So there is cleaner ingredients. Um, I'm sure it gives specifically what they are. But again, I th there's two shades in here I'm like super obsessed with. And like I put it on and oh, it smells so good. And it's an oil. An oil. It's good for you. Okay, so I got a few uh, Morphe items. Morphe did a holiday collaboration with an individual. I can't remember her name, but I really, really got the, the items because um, A, I love the colors in the palette. I'm drawn to the colors, skin, pink thing, 
drawn to it. But then the person that they collaborated with was a woman of color. And Morphe doesn't do that too often. They don't do too many collaborations with women of color. I don't know her ethnicity or her actual, like, nationality. But I know she's a woman of color. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to support that. So I got... Um, and I think she's, I don't know if she picked the shades, but she's just the face of the, um, the face of the holiday line. So, anywho, I got the Mist, Me, Mist, You, Continuous Setting, um, uh, Mist Duo. So one is a traveling and one is the full size. And, uh, actually, I've only tried this in the store and when, from what I tried in the store, their Morphe Mist Spray, I like it, so... I just got it. Just got it. And I got the... Oh, jeez. <laughs> the 35 XO palette. Naturally. Naturally flirt palette. Do they even have her name on here? No, they don't. So maybe she's just the campaign. Like the face of the campaign. Yeah, but I watched her video. Um, I think her name was Ashley. I don't know. I'll if I find the information, I'll leave it in the description bar. But you know, I just like that it was a woman of color. This is super pretty. I love the cardboard versus their other packaging. And you know, to me, this ain't no holiday palette. It looks more of like a Valentine's Day palette. Um, but nonetheless, these are my shades. And you would think that I have more than enough of these shades, but Morphe just gave me more things. Morph, morph. We all nicknames times now. <clears throat> yeah, well. Can't get it back in the box, so we're just gonna lay it. And then, along with that, I got the brush set, which comes with a cute pink looking bag. And then it comes with gold. Um, the handle is gold brushes. And what is it? It's a 10 piece eye brush set and bag. You're gonna get a firm shadow brush, a silicone glitter packer brush. Oh, that's cool. I don't have one of those. Um, angle concealer brush, blending crease brush, deluxe angle blender brush, pointed deluxe blender brush, pointed mini blender brush, bullet crease brush, brown highlighter brush, brow, sorry, brow highlighter brush, angle liner brush, and a bag. So, for the price, it was pretty decent deal. I ain't mad at it. I got it. I will use. And then this, I got this other Morphe palette that I've been wanting since it came out. And this is an older palette with Morphe. But, sure, there was a reason I got it. This is the Boss 35M Boss Mood palette. And I still, to this thing, think that she is so pretty. And I know, like, Morphe shadows are, like, to me, I feel like they're temperamental. Some of them are, like, amazing, and some of them you have to, like, play with. But I still think this palette is really, really pretty. And I got it. Because I got a problem. <laughs> and then I got both of the Juvia's Place sets. And to be honest, I kind of have become a collector of Julia's Place. I did not get these sets really because of the lip products. I actually may or may not either add it to the giveaway that I have coming up. I haven't decided yet or I may put it in somebody's Christmas or their stocking stuffer. But let me hurry up before I lose some space in my memory card. But I really just kind of just got it because of the eyeshadow. So that's what this one is looking like. And this is what is 
you can like in there. So as, as, as simple, basically, I'm just, I have become a collector of this place. Let's just be honest. And I really need to like show some love on my channel with Juvia's Place because literally I'm a collector. So I got this one too. This one has, that one is called Nubian Glow. This one's called Nubian Royal. And um, I just was going to get the Nubian Glow and then I became a sucker and I'm like, oh, I got to have them all. Child, it's a problem. But this one is your royal situation. Royal purples. So, like I said, I need to show some Juvia's Place love on my channel. And this is my free stuff that I got from Juvia or Ulta. So, I'm going to show this and I'm done, guys. Thanks for sticking around because I don't even know how long this video is going to be. So this one, <coughs> excuse me, is my throat is just dry. I don't have anything else, guys. This is a makeup bag that um, I got for free. I think it's really, really cute. Like snake skin makeup bag. Purple and pink. And the items that came in this or in this bag. And they give you um, a microfiber makeup remover cloth, which is super nice. Love those. Um, then this is a matte eye primer, which is sweet because I definitely am going to use that. Then they gave um, a shiny sheer lip gloss. Not sure if I'm going to give that away. Then they gave a mattifying face primer, all free, paraben free, control of shine, and blurs pores. So, make that for myself. Then they give you a full size also lipstick, and this is in the shade Barely There. So it looks like it's, you know, barely there. <laughs> then they give you two, I don't know, maybe they consider these travel size um, brushes. One is a shadow brush and one is a blender brush. So that's cool. They give a mascara, which is lifting, a lifting mascara. So I might give this away. Only because I have a lot of, I, I don't really, don't really need that. I don't know. And they give an eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm going to open it up just because. Just because it doesn't have a picture. And then if I don't really want it, want it, I can give it to a family member. And this is what it looks like. So it's like um cool tone, silver-ish vibe. So that was pretty neat. Out of all that, I probably, I will keep the, br the brushes. Yeah, I'll keep the brushes, the primers, and maybe the lipstick. And I'll give away the shadow, the mascara, and the lip gloss. All right, my next bag of samples. <laughs> they were tough, guys. This is from Lancome. And this is Super Enhancing Mascara Base. This is probably mascara primer, eyelash primer from Lancome. And then I got a sample of Kiehl's Midnight Covering. Um, this it would not be a video if I didn't drop something, but that's what that looks like. And then it's actually a, a bottle. So that's a pretty decent size for a sample. And I like kills. 
then I got another sample from Lancome, and this is their, it's probably a serum. It's called the Gen Effic Youth Activating Concentrate. So it gave me a little thing in here, so I'll I'll read up on that and see exactly what that is for. And then I got this It Cosmetics um, Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. Pretty decent pack. So that's what that looks like. And then I got an Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer, the Long Wear Foundation Grip, which I do. I mean, am excited to try this. So. And then these are also good to travel with if you're traveling. Or if you're like my state who has a curfew at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was my collective haul for October and November. I did get some stuff for Christmas presents, which I'm not going to show. So I did, you know, uh, also has the little gift set with perfumes that you get. Got one of those because I got that as a present for somebody. But um, that was my collective haul. Thank you for joining me in my show and tell situation um a lot of this stuff has just been sitting here and sitting here like waiting for me to talk about it and put it up but um i'm wanting to do a lot more with my channel but every time i want to do a lot more life gets in the way so thank you for bearing with me thank you for your support Stay for a while. Show your girls some love. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.